What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jamie. Today, we're going to be reviewing Sarah Petty's book, Worth Every Penny. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, if you don't know who Sarah Petty is, she's actually a photographer and business owner from Illinois. Her and her business partner, Aaron, actually wrote the book, Worth Every Penny. And I've had the book since 2018. I know. I know that's a long, long time, but I sat down and read that book this week, and uh, I'm just excited to let y'all know my takeaways on the book. So, the first one, the first one that I'll say uh, is that you're in a, you're at an advantage as a small business owner because you have the opportunity to create strong personal relationships with each of your clients. And I'm saying it now, but it sound, really sounds like common sense, right? So, unlike Walmart or Amazon or a big business like that, where you call a customer service number and then somebody picks up, maybe not even a human being, they're missing the opportunity to create a connection with each of their, their customers. And as a small business owner, you have that. And it seems like a lot of pressure, but really when you sit down and think about the value that you're giving to your clients and why they're choosing you, why they come to a person who might be charging a little bit more than one of these big box stores or something like that, it really is an opportunity. It really is it's totally worth it. Totally work. It really gives you an opportunity to create clients and customers that will keep coming back to you and refer you to their friends as well. So it helps you build your business and, you know, others to see value in your business as well. Tip number two is finding the things that you do well in your business and making those things your focus. Yes, we're talking again about niching down. I know everybody says that. Find your focus. And niching down, especially in photography, is so important. And it's more important than, you know, trying a bunch of things. And granted, you should try a bunch of things to figure out what exactly it is that you can be passionate about, especially when it comes to photography. But for me... Um, that's weddings, engagements, and family photos, which is why that's going to be all I'm offering from here on out. I just am more passionate about those things, and I want to give the best of myself to my clients, each and every one of them, and each and every time. Uh, so I ch I'm choosing not to take on other kinds of photography because I'm, I'm just honestly transparent, like being transparent, I'm not as passionate about it. Taking headshots or something like that. And I, I get those requests too, but for me, I'm not passionate about the or the or the I'm, it's not, it, it doesn't do it for me. So <laughs> yeah, just reading this confirmed that you know, I'm on the right track with niching down and being able to provide the best of myself and what I'm most passionate about to my clients. Next tip is to encourage negative feedback. If you're anything like me, you love hearing the best things about your business, but criticism don't have to be such an ego blow, you know? So if you use them as a chance to grow and provide better service for each of your clients, then you're able to maintain those strong relationships and people are more likely to forgive you when you're acknowledging that, yes, I made this mistake or I could have been better when it came to how I communicated that or whatever the case may be. And I personally can think of quite a few situations where I could have handled things a bit more professionally and provided a better service for my clients and while this may be difficult it's an opportunity for you to grow 
and provide better service for your clients coming along in the future. Try to be open and hear what they have to say. If you do decide to reach back out to previous clients or even those who might not have gone through with their transaction and business transaction with you, even if they decide not to use your business again in the future. Tip number four is deep discounting harms you rather than helps you. All right, this is another transparency moment for me because every year I offer many sessions, which is like a photography session condensed down into, it might be a shorter amount of time or less offerings that you're giving um, to your, each of your clients so that you can fill up your schedule usually during the holiday period um, and I offer these sessions in some form or another every year and every year nobody books them <laughs> nobody and it's probably because I'm not as passionate about those sessions as I would be for a client who appreciates the regular pricing that I have and their they see the value in in what I do on a day-to-day basis so while I feel like I'm adding value by adding these mini sessions and you know spending all this money on props and themes and whatever what have you it's it, they're not selling out they're not selling out because well, I'm not passionate about them and neither are my potential clients. So it's time for me to offer that value in a different way. So for me, that looks like a rewards program. A rewards program is an incentive for clients to come back and also for clients to, past clients at least, to refer me to new clients because the rewards program works for them and for the new client as well. It adds value in a way that doesn't make me feel resented or hurt, but it also adds value to the client because they have an incentive to come back and to use me again. The last tip, last tip that I learned from the book um, is to consider co-marketing. And co-marketing really is just reaching out to other businesses in your niche or similar niches um, so that you can work together and working together for marketing purposes. Uh, for some businesses, it can look like, at least for me, for me it looks like me reaching out to dress shops or florists or individuals that do hair and makeup. You know, you're, you're offering different services, so it's not necessarily like, you're competing for customers because if they're coming to this particular person to get hair and makeup, you are a photographer, you're not offering hair and makeup. So it's a balance that way. Um, and it really, you're working towards the same goal in a way that helps both of you and actually builds community you actually are getting to build up your community and networking with local businesses that you can refer and they can refer uh, on your part as well. So you might be thinking, why did you wait so long to read this book? Maybe I wasn't quite ready to receive what the book had to offer. Granted, I can appreciate the info better now, having been in business for almost five years but I might have avoided a few mistakes along the way if I read it a little sooner. Some of the changes they recommended I'm already going to be implementing on my own. So if anything, it just confirms that I'm on the right track. Uh, and I can't promise that I'll always have it together, but uh, I'm definitely a lot in a lot better space than I would have been having not read the book at all. So. I think that it's a great read, definitely worth, definitely worth the shipping fee that's charged. So I'll leave a link for you if you're interested in the in the description box below. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Erin, for writing this book. And until next time, y'all.
Peace.